Hi, have you ever heard the song, Here We Go Round the Mulberry Bush? Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush on a cold and frosty morning. Well, this is a book that takes that same song and it adds some things to it. The original song talks about how you wash your face or comb your hair or brush your teeth and it's usually sung by children who are skipping around in a circle and they're doing all the motions and actions. Well this one is about animals and their habitats. So let's read Whish Around the Mulberry Bush. Whish Around the Mulberry Bush by Jan Omerod and Lindsay Gardner. There's the mulberry bush. Very pretty. <laughs> and here are the children. All skipping around the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush with a mulberry whoosh and a mulberry swoosh. Here we go round the mulberry bush on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we slime along, flippity flap and sing a song. Here we go round the flower bed on a sweetly smelling morning. And I can see this might be out in a flower garden. Lots of pretty flowers. And I see a worm, a snail, a caterpillar, a bird, a ladybug, and a slug. Slugs are kind of like snails, only they don't have a shell. So they're out in the garden. That's their habitat. This is the way we cockle do, cluck and honk, ba and moo. Here we go round the chicken coop, so early in the morning. So what would be this habitat? That's right. It's out on a farm in a barnyard. And you can definitely see there are some eggs if you look very closely in the chicken coop. And I noticed they said cluck and honk. Well, we know chickens cluck, but who honks? That's right, that's a goose. So we have a cow, a goose, a rooster and a hen and a lamb all having fun in the barnyard. That's their habitat. This is the way we dig and dive, scuttle and crawl, nip and pinch. Here we go round the sandy shore on a breezy summer morning. I see two starfish, two crabs. They're not the same kind of crabs, are they? One lives outside of a shell and one likes to live inside of a shell. And of course, the happy seagull. Their habitat is the sandy beach. Great place to play. This is the way we flip our fins, swim and swoop, dart and dive. Here we go round the deep blue sea on a salty, bubbly morning. 
Well, this habitat is the sea or the ocean. And the word said on a salty, bubbly morning. That's because seawater or ocean water has salt in it. When you go swimming in a river or a pond or a lake, that is not salty water. But the oceans and the seas are full of salt. And I know you love clownfish. Looks a little bit like Nemo, doesn't he? And there's a whale and a seahorse. My favorite is this jellyfish. Isn't it beautiful? And I see a stingray. You have to be careful. Don't touch its tail. It might be stung. This is the way we yip, 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 sneak and slink. Woo, woo, woo. Here we go round the tumbleweed on a scorching desert morning. Well, we know the habitat, don't we? Desert. I see lizards and I see coyote. And have you found the tumbleweeds? Mm -hmm. Right there. And another one over here. Tumbleweeds are bushes that grow out in the desert. And when that wind gets to blowing, if the bush is dried up, the wind will blow it all around on the desert floor. So the desert is the habitat for these animals. You see that cactus? Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Doesn't rain much in the desert. Very seldom. This is the way we clack and call, slither and squeeze, scream and swing. Here we go round the jungle vines on a hot and sticky morning. Well, they're certainly having fun in the jungle. They said slither, and you know who slithers in this picture. That's right, that snake. And I noticed this. I can't tell whether it's a monkey or a chimpanzee. Monkeys have tails, and chimpanzees do not have tails. And this picture doesn't show us whether there is a tail or not. So we just have to guess. Which do you think it is? A monkey or a chimpanzee? Either way, he looks very happy, doesn't he? And this, I think, is an orangutan. Look at that beautiful color. Oh my. And all that wonderful fur. There in the jungle, that's their habitat. This is the way we suck and slurp, wallow in mud, kick our heels. Here we go round the water hole on a dry and dusty morning. Well, I think this habitat is called a savanna. And it's dry, but not as dry as the desert. It gets a little rain, but certainly not as much as the jungle or a rainforest would. I see a giraffe, a zebra, and look at this alligator. My, my, my. He looks like he might be taking a bath in that water hole. And if you look closely, you see he's covered with lots of patches and scratches. So he's been in more than a few scrapes over the years. He had to patch up his scratches and holes. <laughs> so that's the savanna. 
This is the way we slap and clap, slip and slide, splish and splash. Here we go round the icicle on a sparkling snowy morning. There's a snowshoe rabbit and a polar bear and a baby seal. And notice they are all three of them white. That kind of camouflages them in all of that snow, doesn't it? And their habitat is where it is cold all year round. It's called the Arctic. The Arctic is where those three like to play. This is the way we croaky croak, leap and jump, hop and flop. Here we go round the mossy log on a misty, moisty morning. And these frogs are having fun hopping around that log. You see the moss on the log? See all that green, fuzzy stuff? That's what grows in damp places. So this must be the wetlands. These frogs must live in the wetlands. That's their habitat. This is the way we flit and fly, swoop and soar, big eyes wide. Here we go round the starry night, just before the morning. These animals are nocturnal. You see bats and an owl and a kitty cat and a raccoon. And they are the kind of animals that sleep a lot during the day so they can go out and have fun at night hunting for their food. Let's all do the mulberry whoosh and mulberry swoosh around that bush. Let's all do the mulberry whoosh every single morning. Now well, that was a fun take on the old song, Here We Go Round the Mulberry Bush. I hope you enjoyed it. And maybe you can find some friends that'll hop and skip around in a circle with you. And you can have some fun singing a song too. All right, until next time, I'll say bye-bye.